I remember my first day of grade one. I was so excited. I dressed up in my new school clothes and carried a new pale blue lunchbox as my mother walked me up the gravel hill of 110th Avenue to Irma Stevenson Elementary School in Surrey. From that day on, I've always wondered, who was Irma Stevenson? This British Columbia story has been produced and brought to you by the YouTube channels Surrey 360 and Salty Beaver Explores. We feel privileged to bring you the story of Irma Stevenson, as this is a special project for both our channels, and we hope you enjoy it. How many times have you gone to a building, park, or other structure named after someone? Someone unknown to us, a person who we will never know anything about. This was the case with my elementary school in Surrey, but luckily with some research I was able to get in touch with Irma's family and can now share Irma Stevenson's story. The early half of the last century was not an easy one for women. Until the late 1960s, most women were the stereotypical housewife, cooking, cleaning and looking after their families. This makes Irma Stevenson's life and legacy even more interesting. A single career woman was unusual unto itself at this time in our history, but for her to have both a school and a park named in her honour is extraordinary. On April 7, 1921, in Rosetown, Saskatchewan, Irma Barbara Robina Stevenson was born to Kathleen and Nelson. It was a sad beginning for the small infant as her mother passed away two months after her birth. Irma's father remarried a year later to Sarah Jane Rogers, who had cared for her since the passing of Kathleen. Irma grew up a quiet girl with a keen sense of humour. She was humble and modest. After graduating from high school in 1939, she entered a one-year program at the University of Saskatchewan for teacher education training. Her love of education didn't end there, as she continued her studies over several sessions at summer school in both Saskatchewan and British Columbia. must have been a hectic one, as for the first three years, 1940 to 1943, she taught at four different one-room schoolhouses in small communities across Saskatchewan. By 1942, Irma's family had moved to Sea Island in Richmond, the same island where the Vancouver International Airport is now located. Irma travelled by train to spend Christmas 1942 with her family before returning to Saskatchewan to finish off the school year. The strong family ties of the Stevensons called Irma back to British Columbia and she accepted a teaching position in Gibsons in 1943. The Gibson's Landing School position lasted until 1946, when Irma moved to Surrey to again be close to family. By this time, her parents, younger brother and older brother and his family lived near 158th Street and 108th Avenue, close to where the school and park which bear Irma's name will eventually be located. Irma was a stylish lady who enjoyed dressing up and wearing her beloved hats. She also loved to drive, purchasing a grey Plymouth when she began teaching at Surrey's Fleetwood Elementary School in 1946. Road trips with her friends or nieces were special occasions exploring the Okanagan, Vancouver Island and various western US states. Unfortunately, she was involved in a vehicle mishap on March 4, 1955, and sued the truck driver involved in Supreme Court, winning a judgment of over $1,000 for damages to her car. Though she was characterized as being a gentle soul, she could certainly stand up for her rights. The Fleetwood Elementary School position showcased Irma's care, dedication, insight of children, and a gift of teaching. 
Her work there was of such a caliber that she was made the primary supervisor of the Surrey School Board. As the first person ever to hold this position, Irma was responsible for observing and guiding elementary teachers, offering suggestions and advice in dealing with children and the classroom, organizing and running workshops, and information sessions for teachers and parents. She spoke at many PTA meetings advising parents on how to prepare their children for grade one and about behavior in older grades. Irma Stevenson held this position for 11 years. A former district superintendent of schools, K.B. Woodward said, this quiet woman gained the confidence of teachers and the parents as she conducted lessons in primary teaching. Heavy inroads were made on her time as she went out to meetings speaking on her favorite topic, the primary child. Her love of children also ran into her off time, playing and spending time with her young nieces and nephews, and heading the primary department of the Sunday School for the United Church. As a talented writer, she also wrote a number of skits for the church. Sadly, Irma was diagnosed with breast cancer and passed away on March 13, 1963 at age 41 at the Royal Columbian Hospital. She is interred at Valley View Memorial Gardens. It was decided that a new school being built in Surrey on 160th Street would be named in honour of this remarkable teacher and supervisor. It was a coincidence that the school was located so close to the Stevenson family home. The Irma Stevenson Elementary School was declared open on December 4, 1964. During the opening ceremony, K.B. Woodward described Irma as, quote, the best emissary of public relations, and Dave Dunnison, president of the Surrey Teachers Association, said, quote, this school embodies the generous, helpful spirit of Irma Stevenson, and stated that it was the only Surrey school named after a modern-day teacher. On May 8, 2004, the City of Surrey and the Fraser Heights Community Association officially opened the newly completed Irma Stevenson Water Park. Water parks are for the enjoyment of children and I think Irma would have been pleased. Surrey 360 and Salty Beaver Explorers would like to thank the following for their assistance in this video. Without their help, this film never would have been made. Irma Stevenson's nieces, Helen Smith and Sheila Stevenson, and Stacy Gilkinson, who is the assistant archivist for the city of Surrey. And we would also like to thank Eleanor Zabo from Surrey Schools, Heather Hill, the current principal at Irma Stevenson Elementary School, Karen Suszewski, Karen Benson, and Alice Tiles from the Surrey Retired Teachers Association Historical Committee. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, there are a few things you can do to help support our channels. Give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and leave a comment. Let us know if there is a BC story you'd like us to cover in future episodes. Please make your best effort to check out the channel Surrey360. For more content about Canada, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channels and ringing the bell icon to be notified of our next video uploads. Class dismissed.